Golf Central on YouTube is brought to you by the new Chrome Tour Golf Ball from Callaway. And quite a diverse scorecard for Scotty Scheffler. You had a couple of bogeys, a triple bogey, but you also had six birdies. How would you describe that round today? Um, I felt like I played pretty good um, outside of one poor swing on number nine that got a horrible break after that. You know, it was a shot that any other hole just being the left rough and there it hit a tree and went out of bounds. So uh, really tough break there, but did a good job resetting and bouncing back. You know, I had the nice birdie on 10 and 12 and um, did a good job kind of staying in the round today. When you have kind of a shocking moment like you did on nine, how do you reset? What do you tell yourself? Well, I mean, I hadn't really hit many shots offline the whole day until that one. And so, and like I said, it was a slight pull. It wasn't anything drastic and just got a bad break. And, you know, Teddy told me, you know, you're still swinging it great. Just keep doing what you're doing. And, um, you know, it was a nice bounce back there on the next. How difficult was this course today? Yeah, really challenging. You know, with the winds being up and how firm the greens get, um, they're definitely getting faster too, which I think makes it more challenging as well. And so I think it's only going to get tougher as the, as the round goes on tomorrow as well. Yeah, what do you do tomorrow if it gets tougher? Is it the same thing, or do you maybe be a little less risky? No, I mean, I think you still got to play the course the right way. This is one of those places where there's certain holes where you just got to step up and hit a great shot. Um, there's a lot of spots out there where if you play too conservative, you can get you know, into uh, some pretty tough spots pretty quick, and so just do your best to execute, and um, when you need to, just really hit great shots. Finally, you started this day with a three-shot lead. You ended with a four-shot lead. Now tomorrow, opportunity to win yet again. What do you hope to be committed to? Yeah, just my shots and, um, you know, like I said, the golf course thing is going to get tougher. The greens are going to get firmer. I'd assume the fairways are going to get firmer as well. And so um, should be another tough day out there and uh, looking forward to the challenge. Appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, thanks. Calvin, how did you kind of characterize the round today? Uh, I mean, really steady, really solid. Um, you know, it was a bad two shots on, on my second and third shot on the second hole. But overall, I mean, I, I hit, hit it where I needed to, made, take it, took advantage um, of the ones I did hit close and made a few putts and, uh, you know, came out bogey free, which I'm really, really happy. What was maybe the kind of maybe the difference between yesterday's round to today's round? Yesterday, I mean, obviously it was blowing more, but I, I just got impatient. I was rushing a lot of shots towards the end and just, you know, I was trying to time it up in such a small little window that instead of feeling the shot, you know, I just used my head and, and that's not, that's never good for me. You know, I, I have to feel it out and uh, kind of trust my gut and, you know, really, really made sure I stayed patient with that today. Is that something you recognize after the round? I mean, did you sit down and talk to your caddy and say, you know, what happened? Or I mean, no, I, I knew it. I knew it once I got through 17 yesterday. I mean, it, it was a bad bunker shot, and that was just trying to get too pretty with it. And um, but I mean, after I walked off 18, and you know, thankfully I made par yesterday on 18. Um, I just knew, like, I just had to stay patient and just trust myself. I mean, Rick's Rick's been out here all week, so just we talked this morning, and it was a 30 second talk because. The, the swing still feels good. I just never got in a rhythm of, of feeling out the golf shot. You know, you can get so caught up in numbers and, and, you know, this makes sense, this doesn't make sense. But if you can't feel the shot, it doesn't matter. You know, you're never going to execute that great shot, you know, a handful of times. Do you feel, maybe after yesterday you didn't, but now you must feel that at least you're in touch now. Yeah, I mean, uh, look, Scotty's not, I, I don't expect Scotty to fall back. I mean, the wind's definitely in a different kind of direction the last few holes and what we expected and what we thought. So that makes kind of 17, 18 a little bit tougher. Um, but look, I mean, it, I'm still going to have to go out and shoot a really good, really good score tomorrow. But, you know, this this course bites. You know, you might look at some of these holes as birdie opportunities, but you miss the fairway. You're going to try and save par. Um, and I think the winds might be up a little bit more tomorrow with the same wind we got yesterday. So it's going to play tough. You've talked a lot about, like you said, Rick's been here this week. You guys, have, you've talked about him more sometimes, just an ear that he kind of has for, for you. Has that kind of been more what it's been this week, more than maybe technical stuff that you're working on? Yeah, it's, it's not a lot of technical stuff. A lot of it has just been talking through it, going through the process, thinking th through things. Um, and obviously, it's been, it's been very, very helpful kind of over this past couple months. What have you liked most about what you've done this week? Um... To be honest, I've, I've just kind of continued what I've what I've been doing. Um, I think I've played a little messier this week than I have, um, say at Colonial and at the PGA. Um, I've made I've made too many mistakes, but I've also been able to rebound from that and not get away from myself. Um, if I had six more holes yesterday after 17, it could have been bad. Thankfully, I only had one, and I got out of there, um, and I was able to regroup. And and you just that's golf, right? You, you have to be able to regroup. I just thought yesterday I just got in this little rut on the back nine where, you know, I felt like I hit a good shot, wasn't doing this, wasn't doing that, but it's because I, I wasn't feeling out the shots. I was just playing numbers in my head, trying to do this math equation instead of actually being, you know, an artist and, and playing shots. Anything else? Great. Thanks so much, Colin.
right. Actually, Colin, I, I did have a question, Colin. Uh, obviously, you made a push today. Um, you were in this position last year, and then what was it? Your your back mm -hmm. gave out on you. What do you think you need to do between today and tomorrow to, to really put yourself in position as far as tomorrow is concerned? I mean, I've got to go out and put out a round like I did today. Um, like I said, Scotty, Scotty's not really coming backwards. And, you know, I, I've got to play some steady golf. That doesn't mean i got to press. I mean, look, if I shoot four tomorrow, I, I think I'm going to be pretty happy. Um, but, you know, you just kind of play it through the year and, and start off on hole one, have a, have a game plan, and see how many shots you can execute um, on a Sunday when, you know, you're roughly within a handful of shots. Well, what was it last year, like, I mean, with the back, why do you think you had some of the issues that you had between your third and, and oh, it, going I mean, into it was, the Oh, it was warming round. up in the gym. It was this one movement we did, something that I've kind of, we've all taken care of, so I know what to do, what not to do, what to watch, and go on from there. Cool. Roy, how would you kind of assess the round today? Uh, just sort of trying to hang in there. Uh, just sort of like the last couple of days as well, courses, uh, obviously playing really tough, you know, the, the scores suggest that it's very hard to, to shoot anything, you know, it's hard to get it going, hard to shoot anything in the 60s really, you know, there's a couple of 60 hits out there which were really good scores, but yeah, I just tried to hang in there and, and battle and um, try to keep it around par, which I, which I sort of did. What was the main uh, thing, was it the greens being firm, the wind? Uh, the wind again. Um, Greens are getting a little firmer, some tough hole locations. Uh, yeah, just basically all of it. It's it's a it's it's just it's a it's a very tough golf course. As the wall rolls, fifteen million. Rory, can uh, obviously you were on a call yesterday. Can you just assess the tenor of the discussions and what your thoughts are coming out of them? Yeah, um, very productive, um, very constructive, um, very collaborative. I think there are probably three words that I would use to describe it. Uh, yeah, it was, it, w it was really good. Um, definitely things are, are heading in the right direction. A lot of progress was made. Um, can't really say much more than that, but it was, it was really positive. Did you say anything? I did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you mentioned you might just keep quiet. So that's fine. Yeah, the mute button was turned off a couple of times <laughs> to chime in. How long were you on that call? Um, so the, the meeting with, with Piff was three hours, um, but then the prep call before that was an hour and a half, so probably like four and a half hours. Yeah, it was great. Would you, would you say that uh, going in you were, more, you were surprised with the progress coming out? Um, I would say um, maybe not surprised, but maybe more encouraged. Um, you know, I think there a lot of progress had sort of been made, um, but yeah, definitely encouraged. Yeah. Those those three calls a week that there that you had mentioned the other day. Do you think that really actually puts everything together and sets everything up for what happened? Um, in terms of the in terms of um, the the deal, like the financials and the, the legals the and all that. I think more that was those three calls a week were more to do with like their investment committee and and you know. SSG and you know so that was that was more that's what those calls were um, but I think last night was more you know talking about the future of the game and the vision and um, you know that was where you know I thought you know there was a lot of progress that was made.